In this video, I'll be sharing with you five things that you need to know before Arsenal kick off against Crystal Palace at the Emirates on Monday. So strap yourself in, you won't want to miss it. That's five things that you need to know before kickoff. Let's do it. Hello, I'm JC. I hope you're doing well. This is the Arsenal versus Crystal Palace match preview where I bring you five things that you need to know before kickoff. It also marks the return of Patrick Vieira to Arsenal, not as a Arsenal manager that is, but as the opposing manager. I'm sure he'll get a warm welcome and a face that we all love to see. Who knows, he might be a manager at Arsenal Football Club in the future. Now the first of five things that we'll be going through today is the recent form of both teams, starting with Arsenal as we're playing at home. Our previous fixture was against Brighton, a 0-0 draw. Some were disappointed, others were very happy with a point. Brighton have started the season very, very well. Most Arsenal fans thought we would kick on after beating Spurs comfortably before that. However, form previous to the Spurs game has been pretty good for Arsenal. We've been unbeaten in our last five games, and that does include wins against AFC Wimbledon in the Carabao Cup, Burnley and Norwich. Crystal Palace, on the other hand, coming into this fixture, their form is a little bit indifferent. A whole bunch of draws, a loss and a win in their last five games. Their last fixture was a draw against Leicester, a team that haven't started their season as well as some thought, but they have managed to bag themselves a win against Spurs in those five games. Moving on to number two would be the history between the two clubs. And Arsenal and Palace have played each other a total of 49 times across various different competitions. Arsenal have the upper hand in this department, winning 29 of those fixtures. Palace, only five. 15 of those have ended in a draw. What is the recent fixtures and results between these two teams? And that brings us on to point number three. In our last fixture away from home, we actually beat Crystal Palace 3-1, a fairly comfortable result going back to May this year. Prior to that, in the same season, it was a 0-0 draw at home at the Emirates and unfortunately another draw before then, again away from home. Won all this time in the previous season. I'd like to think that Arsenal may have the upper hand in this fixture. So there's your first three of five things that you need to know before kickoff. And before we move into the next section, I'd really appreciate it if you are enjoying the video at this point to drop a like. And if you're new around here, please do subscribe because there will be plenty of this type of content in the future. But let's get into the next section, point number four and five. Number four of five is team news. And I did watch Arteta's press conference as well as reading up on what Patrick Vieira had to say. Starting with Arsenal, the only player that is definitely unavailable is Granit Xhaka. A long-term injury, so it will be quite some time before we see him feature again. Martinelli is doubtful. He wasn't spoken about very positively, so I'll be very surprised if we see him feature. Hopefully I'm wrong, because the kid does deserve more minutes. Thomas Partey is the only other player mentioned. He apparently picked up a knock whilst on international duty. Nothing too serious, but he will face a late fitness test. So fingers crossed he is available for selection or at least off the bench. Patrick Vieira only spoke about two players, Eze and Ferguson, very, very similar to Thomas Partey. They will face late fitness tests to see if they are available. Now this moves us into the fifth and final point of this video, which is predictions. And that does include my predicted lineup and score prediction, an opportunity for you to get involved. Any correct predictions with regards to the score will feature in my match report after the game. Starting with the predicted 11, Ramsdale, who has been absolutely phenomenal, a fan favorite already. Tomoyasu on the right and Kieran Tierney on the left. Gabriel at left center back and Benjamin White, as we've recently come to know him. In a low pivot, I'd like to see Lokonga and Partey. However, I wouldn't be surprised to see Ainsley, Maitland, Niles, or even Elneny given minutes if Partey isn't available to start the game. 
in that number 10 role, not to be mixed up with Smith Rowe, the attacking midfielder, Odegaard. On the left hand side is Smith Rowe, who's been in some great form of late. Bukayo Saka on the right, Starboy of course, and then Obama Yang up top. It does mean the likes of Lacazette and Pepe are again losing out and they'll be scratching their heads asking what they need to do to get selected. So let me know your thoughts and my predicted score is Arsenal 2, Crystal Palace 1 and I'm going to go with an Obama Yang goal. I really do hope you have enjoyed today's video. Please drop a like if you have done. Subscribe if you're new around here. There is plenty of content on the channel for you to dive into, player analysis, match reports, and there'll be another one after the game on Monday night. Don't forget to comment down below, but for now, I'm JC, and I'll catch you in the next one.